knockouts. He takes on Bekzad Adarachmanov, 4-0 with two knockouts. Weighing in at 159 yesterday, should be a great battle. Osborne, no stranger to Lincoln, Rhode Island. He's been here twice, fighting under the CES umbrella. He beat Damian Trites in... 22 November, New York's Madison Square Garden Sport Arena. UFC's yana bir super tournament is going to be a great match. Alex Pereira, yarim ogr vazn toifasi da, Erji Prakhaski ye karşı jang kladi. UFC janglardan pul ishlab olishingiz uchun kommentariyada omad silkasini qoldiraman. Saatga o'tib ro'yxatdan o'ting, ro'yxatdan o'tayotganda promo kodga Vodiy MMA so'zini kiriting va kafolatlangan bonuslarga ega bo'lasiz. 2013 also lost to Mark Stevens, so he has some experience in this building. He knows this neck of the woods real well. But Ada Rachmanov has a unique challenge coming in at 4-0, maybe his toughest test to date. Sure, Andrew Osborne, one of the fighters from out of town where the CES fans have just been begging to come back. They love watching Andrew Osborne fight. He's exciting, he's a showman, and he comes to fight. He had a great fight against Damon Trance, as you mentioned. His last two fights didn't go his way. But Mike, Andrew Osborne, in his 14 professional fights, has never lost more than two fights in a row. He's riding a two-fight losing streak, so we'll see if he can break that tonight here against a very, very tough fighter. Adarachmanov has four wins, two by submission, two by knockout, so he's mixed it up quite a bit. You see him shoot in for the takedown, but Osborne does a nice job stuffing it and standing his ground. But this time he does get him, so 45 seconds into round one, Adarachmanov gets him right down on his back. Bexod, a former wrestler at Clarion University in Pennsylvania. That's where he's fought most of his pro fights. He's pretty popular out there as he obviously went to college. His brother, Muzaffar, is a wrestling coach at Harvard University, which isn't too far away from Twin River Casino. So a lot of good stories here around Bexod. From Uzbekistan, now fighting out of Massachusetts, so he's made a second home here in the United States. And now he's trying to get that arm in underneath on Osborne, if you can get maybe a front choke, doesn't look like he has it in quite deep enough just yet. Osborne working hard to try to flatten himself out. Like Bexide never has gone the decision in his four professional fights. You look up his old roster there on Clarion's website, it says he has a full gas tank and he's a seven minute wrestler. So certainly as a college wrestler, he was very good with his cardio and his stamina. So we'll see maybe if Osborne could push this to the second and third round and see really what Bexod has as a professional fighter, but he's doing very well here against the Philadelphia native. Hasn't had to quite use that stamina just yet. Three of his first four fights, in fact, his first three fights, all ended in the first round. He got a submission against Christian Leonard in his fourth bout in the third round, about halfway through that final round. So we at least have seen him in some examples go late into fights and then end fights early. So we'll see how this one plays out against Osborne, who of course is a tough foe, as you mentioned, coming in from Philadelphia. Fighters from that neck of the woods tend to be tough. They tend to be willing to take on just about anybody at any given time, and Osborne is no exception. Also, in Osborne, seven pro victories. Five of them are by decision. So Osborne, a guy who likes to ride it out for the full 15 minutes. Right now, Adarachmanov in control, just toying with Osborne at this point, now trying to land some left hands. Osborne in defensive mode, really, for most of this opening round. And now those hammer fists coming down again, trying to soften up the defense. You see that wrestling background, Pat, and just the ability of what he can do when he's got a fighter in this position and how he knows how to execute. And now he gets on his back. Osborne standing up with Adarachmanov, almost riding him to that point. But now Adarachmanov gets a second takedown. You can see Bexov very, very aggressive, always constantly moving, moving his legs and his arms. Osborne... This entire first round, the entire first three and a half minutes, he's had been moving just to defend against Bexar. A lot of times you see a wrestler will get a fighter to the ground and try to slowly, methodically work a position or a certain hold. Bexar has not stopped moving from every single point in this fight. And now he's in a tough spot here. Adarachmanov may be able to take his back from this position with just a minute and a half to go. And we'll see from a different angle if he's got it sunk in deep enough, Pat, but it appears to be he's got the legs locked in. He's in a tough spot here. Osborne's in some trouble. Referee leaning in to see if he's ready to keep fighting or ready to call it quits. And he's on a tap. That's going to do it. Andrew Osborne taps out with 106 to go in round one. An impressive, methodical win for Adarachmanov, just showing all his skills on display here tonight, Pat. Against a very, very game Andrew Osborne, a guy who has 15 professional fights. Bexod only in his fifth. So fighting a guy who literally has 10 more fights than him. Great job by Bexod. He stayed composed. He moved the entire fight, and he always kept Osborne guessing. Nice pro 
debut here at CES. It's his fifth pro fight, his first one here at Classic Entertainment and Sports, putting on a go good showing for the CES faithful here in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Uh, we'll certainly see more of him in the future. So Bexad out of Rachmanov drops, uh, in fact, improves to 5-0. Andrew Osborne dropping to 7-8 with the loss.